Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform conditional formatting based on another cell. So in this list here, I want to base my conditional formatting on the brand that is stored in C2. Now you can either do this for a particular column or you can do it for entire rows as I've done here. So if I change this to a different brand, you can see that it highlights the relevant rows. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So we'll start off by formatting the cells in the brand column based on the value in C2. That's very simple to achieve. What you do is select those cells in that column, home tab of your ribbon, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules equal to, and then you just need to point at the cell that you're comparing these values to. And for me, that's C2. Now I can change the color to whatever color I want. And then I just click on OK. Now you could also base this on a numeric value. So I want to highlight any values that are greater than or equal to the value here in L4. So again, I would just select those cells, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. I'd need to go down to more rules. Format only cells with the cell value greater than or equal to then I'd click here in this little box and I'd select L4. Then I'd need to choose my format. Click on OK and then on OK again. But what if we want to highlight the entire row rather than just cells in a particular column? So we have to use conditional formatting in a slightly different way. The first thing that's different is what I select. So I need to select all the cells that I'm going to apply the conditional formatting to, not just the column on which I'm basing the condition. Then I go up to conditional formatting and I need to go to this option, new rule. Then in this list of rule types, I need to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then I click in this box. Now, before we write our formula, we need to understand something about the active cell. Now you can see that I selected all of these cells, but this cell, the first cell I selected, doesn't have a gray background. And that's because it's the active cell. Now, essentially you're writing a formula for the active cell that gets copied down and across the remainder of the selected cells. So initially I'm writing a formula for the active cell and that formula will be equals A5, and I have typed it in rather than selecting the cell, equals, and then I'm gonna select cell C2. Now the reason I've selected it is because it gives me the dollars, and that means it's a locked reference. So as this formula gets copied down the rest of this column and across the rest of these rows, it's always gonna base the condition on the value in C2. Now there's one change I need to make, and that's to this reference here. Now at the moment, this is a relative reference. So as it gets copied down and across the rest of the selected cells, this will change. Now I do want it to change in terms of the row, but not in terms of the column, because the condition refers to the value that's in column A, not in column B, in column C. So I need to lock that A, and I do that just by typing a dollar in front of the A. So you must have the dollars as I've got them there before the column letter, and two dollars in this reference here because our conditions are always based on the value in C2. So then I choose a format. And click on OK, and then on OK again. Now in this example, we can do something similar. We want to highlight any rows where the sales target has been met. So I'd select those cells, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then the rule will be, is the value in I5 greater than or equal to the value in L4? So equals I5, and I type that in, greater than or equal to L4 and I selected that. Now I do need to lock 
the column reference in i5 so i put a dollar in front of it and that's because the sales values are in column i i'm always using column i to compare to the value in l4 and i choose my format click on ok and then on ok again and so the rows are formatted for me that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.